Morning Spartans, it's Mrs. Trevisan. I just have a quick announcement about single point entry. As the weather is nicer, please remember that if you're signing out early, the expectation is that you are leaving through the front door. Um, also, if you're entering the building after arrival, which ends at 855, you should make your way to the front so that you can sign in and get a pass to go to first block. Thanks so much. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to check in with any one of your administrators. Have a great day. Good morning, ASM. I'm Josh. And I'm Liv. Decker recently went on a trip to Atlanta for their community giving project for the international competition. We will learn about this more after news announcements. Trevor Reed, a former Marine from Texas, was released in a prisoner exchange yesterday after roughly three years arriving back in the United States. His landing in San Antonio brings an end to Reed's ag agonizing ordeal in which he spent 985 days in Russian detention, according to the family spokesperson. Reed was released in a prisoner exchange with Russia that saw President Biden commute the sentence of a convicted Russian drug trafficker serving time in Connecticut. British comedian and talk show host James Corden will leave The Late Late Show in 2023 after a soon-to-be eight-year run. Corn began hosting the show in 2015 and generating buzz from his viral segment Carpool Karaoke, singing along with the likes of Adele and Lady Gaga. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please support the ESM Central High School Pride Program at Trappers at East Syracuse on 5222. ESM Central High School PBIS is sponsoring a Dine for Dollar fundraiser at Trappers on Butternut Drive, East Syracuse on Monday, May 2nd at 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. That supports ESM Central High School's Pride. Spartan Pride will get 15% off all menu items pre-tax ordered during this time. It applies for dine-in and takeout orders. Grab some lunch and or dinner on the District Staff Development Day. The ESM Central High School PBIS Committee would certainly appreciate your support. Today in Fitz, Fitz Bum Friday, let's celebrate the start of the marking period for with some gratitude. Write a fist bump to a student, teacher, counselor, administrator, or any staff member and win a prize. Wear your orange and blue Friday too. Go Spartans! Our teacher fist bump winners for this week are Ms. Fingar, Mr. Hart, and Ms. Pelkey. May is a time to raise awareness of those living with mental behavioral health issues and to help reduce the stigma that so many people experience. Please join us in the morning of May 3rd and 4th from 8.30 to 9. Green bracelets, green ribbons, candy, and resources from Contact Community Services will be handed out in the lobby by youth development and leadership students. Please be a part of raising this awareness. The morning weight room will be closed on Monday, May 2nd due to staff day. DECA was founded in 1946 by Chris Kimball and Michael Wayne. It is a non-for-profit organization with more than 225,000 members in all 50 U.S. states, Washington, D.C., Canada, China, Germany, Poland, Guam, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Spain. President Ariana Finkelstein. My experiences in DECA were going to states in Rochester. We stayed there for three days and we got to compete and had food. It was a great experience, fun, fun, made a lot of friends, and we had a pleasure to, of Mr. Anzalone, Mrs. Mock, and Mr. Mussolino to chaperone us. DECA to you? Um, DECA is a club through our school that helps prepare young emerging leaders and everything in entrepreneurship and business. How has DECA impacted your life? Um, I became DECA president this year and it's just helped me get more involved with my community, meet new people, and it helped develop my social skills. 
What would you recommend for future people who want to join that class? Um, first, get involved with business classes, meet Moose and Ann's, get involved within the community, and it will help you a lot with college readiness and just your future careers and endeavors. Today, on Friday, we'll, we'll have a high of 53 and a low of 32. It's gonna be pretty sunny and warm, so it's a nice break from the colder weather we've been having. Uh, over the weekend, it's gonna start to warm up with a high of 58 and a low of 35 on Saturday. And Sunday, we'll have a high of 68 and a low of 47 with some clouds here and there. Monday, we also have school off, so it's a nice three-day weekend, which will have a high of 67 and a low of 48. So we have a nice, break of warm weather. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. The contestants were Jacob Pacheco, Mackenzie Praxel, Angelina Balcaro, and Aiden Betts. Let's take a look at what happened in Atlanta. We just got back from our trip from Atlanta for the um, ICDC conference. Uh, the, I'm very proud of all the kids that went. We had a great trip. Um, I think they get great experience competing against students from all over the world and this year um, we had our community uh, giving project. Um, Pacheco, Alina Palcaro and uh, Mackenzie Praxel, they moved on to the second round and they actually, they were what's called DECA international finalists and that puts them in the top 18 um, competitors in the world and they had to beat out I don't know the exact number but I think it was like 160 or 170 other teams to advance to the international finals so it was a great experience for everyone that was involved in went on the trip The softball team beat Fulton 16-1 yesterday. Lift Goff pitched a no-hitter and had 11 strikeouts. Morgan Ransom had four runs, and Ava Burry and Jaylena Sabatino both had two runs. The boys lacrosse team beat Auburn 12-11. Evan Burgess and Jackson Balaam both led the team with four goals. Trey Jones and Eric Marker both had two goals, and Trey Jones had two assists, and Eric Marker had one assist, and they proved a 6-3 on the season. The Unified know, basketball team scored two wins yesterday, beating Chittenango 20-17 and beating Nottingham 25-13. With the first pick in the NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars selected Trayvon Walker, defensive end from Georgia. In total, last night there were nine trades, the biggest, of the biggest out of them all being Titans receiver A.J. Brown being traded to the Eagles for the 18th pick. First quarterback was taken off the board. The first quarterback taken off the board was at 20 with Kenny Pickett going to the Steelers. It was the first time since 2013 that a quarterback was not taken in the top 10. In upcoming games, the boys track team has an invitation on me at OCS at 4. The boys Base, bas, baseball team plays at Whitesboro at 4.30. Boys tennis has a match at Baldwinsville at 4.30. And tomorrow, girls lacrosse plays at Watertown at 12. Boys lacrosse plays at RFA at 12.45. And the girls track team has an invitation to meet at Chetningo at 1. And girls softball plays at home against Whitesboro at 3. And I'm Tanner with your sports. That's all we have for you today. So from me, Josh, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Friday.